Hi everyone, welcome to another Procreate tutorial. This is the drawing that we will be completing in today's video. If you are new here, I mainly post Procreate tutorials, so if that's something you're interested in, go ahead and subscribe. But before we get started, the only thing that you'll need for this drawing is the color palette, which I have linked in the description below. It's totally free to download. Just open up the file that downloads and it'll automatically import your color palette into Procreate so that you can follow along and use all the same colors. So go ahead and go grab that and then come back and we'll get right into it. So let's go over the canvas dimensions first. We are doing 10 inches by 10 inches at 300 dpi and the color profile is the second RGB color profile that's on the list. And we are going to go ahead and get started. This is the color palette that we have. There's quite a few colors here. A lot of it is just shading and highlight colors. Um, so the first row is like all the grass. Then we have um, the second and third row are all cow colors. So we are going to grab this first color on the first row here and on layer one, we are going to drag this and drop it onto the entire background. And then we're gonna add a new layer and grab this first green color. So the second color on the top row and in our brushes, the brush we'll be using today is the monoline brush under the calligraphy tab. And we are going to have it at about 20% or so. And what we're gonna first do is draw the grass. So we are just gonna draw some little curved lines to make some little grass blades. So two curved lines right next to each other connecting at the top. We'll make some of them bigger, some of them smaller, some of them further apart, closer together. And we're just gonna do this across the entire bottom of the screen. Don't worry too much about how tall they are yet. We are gonna stretch them at the end to be about one fourth of the way up the canvas. Okay, so now that you're done going all the way across, let's add one more over here, and then we're gonna fill them all in. So zoom in and drag and drop the same color onto each one. Um, if As long as the sh lines touch at the top and they touch the bottom of the screen, you should have no problem filling in the shapes, but if any of them don't fill in, you might need to just adjust your lines a little bit. While we do this, we're actually also going to clean up some of the blades. So we are going to use the hard airbrush as an eraser and just go in and clean up the lines a little at the top if you need to. Okay, awesome. So that is our first set of grass. We are gonna go into the layers menu, add a new layer on top of this, click on it and turn it into a clipping mask. And then grab this third color on the first row, this lighter green, go into our brushes menu and we are gonna go under textures and the grunge brush, the very last one there, at about 20%. And we are going to just drag this across the tops of the blades of grass to give them a little bit of highlight and a little bit of texture. Oh, 
Okay, so once you've done that all the way across, we are going to basically do the same exact thing we just did with a different set of greens. So add a new layer on top of this layer that we just made, drag it below those layers, but above the background layer, and then go into the color palette and select this fourth color on the first row, go back to our monoline brush, same settings as before, and we are gonna do the same exact thing. So draw some grass blades first all the way across, Kind of try to fill in some of the spaces that you missed um, the first time to just really make it look really full. And then again, go back and fill them all in and clean them up a little bit if you need to. Okay, and then just like before, we are gonna add a new layer on top of this one, turn it into a clipping mask, and then go back to our color palette and select the next color, the fifth one on that top row. Go back to our grunge brush under the textures menu and go ahead and lightly color just the tips of all the grass blades all the way across. Okay, and then one more time, back to the layers menu, add a new layer, drag it below all the other grass layers, and we are going to go back into the color palette and select this sixth color on the top row, the really dark green, and go back to our monoline brush, and do it all again. So make some taller, make some shorter, uh, further apart, closer together, kind of fill in some of the spaces from before. And then when you are done all the way across, go back and fill them in and clean them up. Okay, and then again for the last time, add a new layer, turn it into the clipping mask, and then go and select this last green color on the top row. Go back to our grunge brush and add the highlights to this last uh, grass layer that's in the most background.
Okay, so now let's go back to our layers menu and select all these grass layers by um, swiping left on all of them, the original and the clipping masks. And then we are going to click on our arrow tool, turn it to freeform, and then drag it straight up to make these taller. Again, we want them maybe a fifth to a quarter of the way up the screen so that we can put our cow face nice behind it and it'll be pretty prominent in the foreground there. Okay, so now on our layers menu, everything that we're gonna add is gonna be behind the grass. So we're gonna find this first background layer and we are gonna add a new layer above that. Okay, so we are gonna go into our color palette and select this third color on the second row here, this light pink. And we are going to use this selection tool, turn it on ellipse and color fill. And we are gonna draw a little oval that's gonna be the snout of our cow. We don't want it to be absolutely ginormous that it goes all the way across the screen, but you know, we do want it to be pretty big. So now we need to center it. So grab the arrow tool up top, make sure that snapping and magnetics are turned on in the bottom left there. And we're gonna drag it to the center of the screen. You'll know it's the center when you see the yellow line, the yellow vertical line. And it doesn't have to be in the center horizontally. We want it to be, you know, right towards the top of our grass, even maybe a little behind it. This little thing that I want to do here is I am going to, with that circle layer selected, I'm going to click the arrow tool, turn on freeform, and then drag it the top down just a little bit. We want it to be, we want the top of the snout to hit at about halfway through the screen. So halfway from top to bottom. And then we are gonna go back to our layers menu, add a new layer on top of this one, drag it below the circle layer, then click the gear icon in the top left corner under canvas, turn on drawing guide and click edit drawing guide. And we're gonna use symmetry here. And we want it to be vertical. So if yours is not vertical, you can change that by clicking options. And then this layer that we're on, we want it to be assisted. So click on the layer and click drawing assist if it does not say assisted already. Then go into the color palette and select this first color on the second row. And we are going to stick with our monoline brush here. And the first thing we're going to do is draw the body of the cow. So just on the left side of our little snout, we are going to draw a little curved line next to it, going to the bottom of the screen. And then draw a line going through the snout towards the middle to connect the shape and then fill it in. And then on that same layer, we are going to draw the top part of the cow. So we are gonna draw a line from the middle going over to the left and then down to the snout area. And so it'll connect on the top there. And then we are gonna use the eraser to kind of just clean that up there because it might be a little pointy and we don't want it to be pointy. And then use the pen tool and again, drag through the middle of the screen till it connects to the other side and fill that in so that it's one solid shape. Clean it up a little more if you'd like to, but this should be the shape of our cow head. Okay, so next we're gonna draw the ears. So let's go back to our layers menu, add a new layer and then drag it below the layer we were just on. Click on it and turn on drawing assist. And then we're using the same color, same pen, and we're gonna draw a curved, almost oval-like shape behind the head under on the top left side. Click on edit and adjust it a little if you need to, to make it a little bigger. And then we're gonna connect the shape below the head and then fill that in. So then that should look the same on both sides since we turned on symmetry there. And then with that layer still selected, go into the color palette and select this third color on the second row. And same pen and everything, we're gonna draw a similar shape right inside the ear. Make sure you can see a good amount of the white and then connect it and fill it in. And make sure, and you can drag your pen to the left if it feels too far, so keep your pen held down. But it should look the same on both sides again. Okay, and before we do any of the spots, we're gonna do the eyes first. So go into the layers menu, add a new layer above the head and body of the cow. Tur click on it and turn on drawing assist. Go into the color palette, select the sixth color on the second row, this really dark black. And then we're gonna draw the a little circle. So a little bit to the left of center and a little bit up from the snout, draw a circle, hold your pen down and touch your finger on the screen to make it a perfect circle and then fill it in. And you should have both of your eyes here. So make sure you like the way they're positioned, otherwise you can redo it. Okay, back to the layers menu. We're gonna now add a new layer on top of the snout layer and click on it and turn on drawing assist again. 
and then go into the colors palette and select this first color on the third row and using that same monoline brush we're going to draw an oval shape on the left side of the snout kind of at an angle like this and click on edit and adjust the shape if you'd like to and then fill it in so these are our nostrils okay our cow is looking pretty cute but he's kind of bare so we're going to start adding some spots now for him so go into the layers menu find the ear layer click on it and click alpha lock and then click it again and turn off drawing assist and then go into the colors palette and select the second color on the second row same monoline brush we're just going to draw some spots on the ears and fill them in so since alpha lock is turned on that means that we're just coloring on that same layer but it doesn't let us like go outside the lines or anything we're just coloring on what's already there so we're going to do this on each of the ears maybe just one spot per ear and fill in any of the extra space okay and then we're going to do the same thing to the body and face of the cow so find that layer click on it and turn off turn on alpha lock click it again turn off drawing assist same color and same brush and this time we're actually going to make some bigger shapes and fill them in and then we can also like smooth out some of the edges make them look really smooth we'll draw some just in the open areas and then i then we'll probably add some like behind the snout and going off the edges just kind of however you want make some of them bigger smaller different shapes and sizes Okay, once you're happy with your spots, we're going to start adding some shadows and highlights and texture to the whole thing. So go back into your layers menu and the first thing we're going to do is find the ears menu, or sorry, the ears layer, add a new layer on top of it, click on it, turn it into a clipping mask, click on the N and drag it up to, until it says multiply. This is going to be a multiply layer, which is really good for shadows. So go into the color palette, select this last color on the second row. And to do this, we are going to go into the brushes menu and find the charcoal menu. The first one is to be compressed and we're going to have it at about 30%. And we are going to just lightly draw some shadows where the ears meet the head on each side. Okay, and then we're going to add another new layer above the layer that we just created, turn it into a clipping mask as well. We're not going to change the layer type. Go into the color palette and select this very first color on the second row, this white color, and we are going to add this to the tips of the ears with the same brush. Okay, and now we're going to do the same thing with the face and the body. So go back into the layers menu and find the face and body add a new layer on top of it turn it into a clipping mask and this is the one that we are going to click on the end and drag it up to multiply go back to our gray color on the second row there same brush and we're going to add some shadows this time it's going to be like right where the snout is around it both on the face and on the body
Okay, and then just like with the ears, we're gonna add another new layer on top of this one, turn it into a clipping mask as well while leaving the N on. And then we're gonna grab the white color again and add some highlights to the top of the cow mostly, and then maybe a little bit on its sides to show some highlights. Okay, so now we're gonna do a similar thing with the snout. So let's go back into our layers menu, find the snout layer, add a new layer on top of it, but below the nostrils. And we are gonna go into our color palette and select this dark pink, the fourth color on the second row. And we are just gonna, again, drag some shadows. And then we don't need to do the multiply this time because we're just using a dark pink color. Go back into the layers menu, click on it, turn it into a clipping mask, which we should have done at the beginning, but oh well. <laughs> and then on that same layer, we're gonna add the highlights as well. So go into the colors menu, select this fifth color on the second row and do the same to the top. Okay, so now we're gonna add some shadows inside the nostrils. So let's go into our layers menu, add a new layer on top of the nostril layer, turn it into a clipping mask, and then in our color palette, select this second color on the last row, and then using our 2B charcoal still at about 25 to 30%, we're just gonna lightly shade the bottom sections of the nostrils. Okay, next we're gonna do my very favorite part. So we are gonna go into our layers menu, add a new layer underneath our eye layer. Make sure it doesn't automatically turn into a clipping mask. And we are going to grab this gray color, the last one on the second row. And with our 2B charcoal brush at 5%, we are going to draw a shadow around the eye only on the top half. We're gonna use quite a bit of pressure and just trace the shape so that we have a really dark shadow coming out of the eye from behind it. We're gonna do the same thing on both sides. we are going to go back to our color palette and select this white color, the first color on the second row, and do the same thing on the underside. You won't be able to see it as much since we're drawing on white, but since there's that shadow there from the nose, it does, we can kind of see it. When you get to the part where the gray is that you just drew, just kind of lightly draw over it so that it kind of blends it together. This just really makes the eyes pop, and it is my favorite part. Okay, now we're gonna do the same thing with the nostrils. So go back to our layer menu, add a new layer with the nostrils below it. Make sure it's not turned into a clipping mask. If it does, just uncheck it. And then since we already have this white color selected, that is what we will use. And we are going to draw on the underside of the nostrils. Again, use quite a bit of pressure and just trace the shape on the underside and on this like outer corner here, kind of go around it. And we are gonna do the same thing on the other side as well. Next, we're gonna go back into the color palette and select this third color on the last row. 
and we're going to do the same thing on the other side of the nostrils so the tops and that top corner and again when you get to where the white part is just use a lighter touch to kind of blend the two colors together Okay, that looks great now we are in the home stretch just a few more steps left so we're going to go back into our layers menu find our eye layer add a new layer on top of it click on that layer and turn on drawing assist and then go into our color palette and select this first color on the second row the bright white and go back to our monoline brush and with the size it's already at, we are just going to touch a dot on the middle of our eye. And then we are going to use the arrow tool to select it and then drag it up and to the right. And that way it's in the same spot on both eyes. Okay, so now we're going to add the horn. So let's go into our layer menu, find our original background layer, add a new layer on top of it. Click on it and turn on drawing assist. And then in our color palette, we're going to use the fifth color on the third row here. And we are still using our monoline brush that we had before. And the first thing we're going to do is draw a straight line here towards the right side and the top of the cow's head. Hold your pen down to make it a straight line. Then we're going to draw a curved line next to it. And hold your pen down again to make it a perfectly curved line. And then we're going to connect the shape underneath the head of the cow and then fill it in. So this is the shape of our little horns here. Adjust them if needed. We did with everything else we're going to add some shadows and highlights so add a new layer on top of this one turn it into a clipping mask and then go into our color palette and select the sixth color on the third row go back to our um, to be charcoal pencil thing and we're going to probably turn the size up to about 20 percent and then we're going to lightly add some highlights to the top of each of our horns here like we did with the snout we are going to add some shadows so in our color palette this last color on the last row and we are going to just use that really close to the head to add some shadows and that is actually it for our cow painting today so i hope you had fun if you did go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you're interested in seeing more tutorials, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't yet. And if you want to share your picture on Instagram, please do so and tag me in it so that I can see how it turned out. And while you're there, go ahead and give me a follow so that you can see what I'm working on next. Thanks so much for watching. Yeah.